Spending an hour in the waiting room of your doctor's office doesn't sound like time well spent. Except tonight in Healthline, Graham Malkins introduces you to a local doctor whose patients often do it by choice. It's not unusual to see a piece of art inside a doctor's office, but how about 30? Take a close look at this space. What do you see? We started off with a footprint of an art gallery and figured out a way to see patients in it. Dr. Leon Elliott combined his two passions to create a contemporary art gallery where the doctor is always in. And we think if we are able to get patients to look at their health differently, it will improve outcomes. To understand the concept, you first must understand the man behind it. Elliot is a native of Sierra Leone, where he grew up hearing the wails of mourners at a cemetery next to his house. It's one of those things as a six-year-old that actually leaves an imprint on you, right? And I remember asking those questions, so why do people die? What happens? Why are they in the coffin? From that early age, he says he wanted to help people live. A love for architecture and design developed years later in prep school. He came full circle in medical school in the United States. After years of managing traditional clinics, Dr. Elliott decided to blur the lines of the traditional doctor's office as we know it. He says the healthcare gallery is the first space of its kind. Behind these bright walls are a wide range of treatments. It started out with primary care and minor cosmetic procedures. The idea now is total body wellness, a one-stop shop where patients are eager to engage. We added on physical therapy, which patients have loved. We did added massage therapy, and we're bringing on a psychotherapist, a licensed clinical social worker that actually does therapy with horses. Also on staff, a full-time curator. People come here just to hang out, just to look at the art. It's not just a utilitarian function. It is really an aesthetic um, and experience. The gallery features rotating shows, this one with a pop art theme. The artists are local, and money from the sale of their work goes directly back to them. Not everyone loves every piece. <laughs> But overall, we've gotten such an amazing response. It's about making people feel comfortable in this space, but don't be afraid to challenge a little bit of what comfort can be. Elliot says patients do seem more comfortable and actually excited to open up about their health. There's a big push to get people to do more preventive things so that we're not treating the disease as it happens. These patients are now starting to realize the need to collaborate with a provider, and it's worked. It's actually worked. He now hopes to expand the concept, both personally and through colleagues, a network of healthcare galleries painting a different picture of what it means to be healthy. Graham Olkins, WAFB 9 Healthline. So this Friday, the Healthcare Gallery hosts a reception for its latest show, and this time it's a photography exhibition. It's free and open to the public, and we also have the link for you on our website if you want to jot down that information from the web or from here. Looks really cool. I like that.